doing that football? You give me that football. You give it. You give it. Give me that. Oh. What's up, guys? Back at the house. Three hours at uh, two grocery stores to get food for the next two weeks. Hopefully, a little more. It's crazy out there. I'm sure you're experiencing it yourself, wherever you are. Things are just really weird. I was happy to see so many people wearing masks going to the store, but terrified to see how many people were going without masks. Um, more people with masks than not, but still, the thing that was concerning is that we all know what's going on and what we've been dealing with the last month or so. More than a month for me. Um, and if people don't start taking this seriously and following the rules and wearing masks, and uh, I don't know when this is going to end. And I'm, I'm nervous about that. And I don't think people are taking this seriously enough. And I know on the news... The, the leaders of this country or are not um, taking this serious either. Um, some are, but we are just in a bad place. And if we don't, we, we're not getting help from outside, from the outside. It's going to be us that has to help each other. Um, and that means wearing masks when you go out to the store. And that means not going over to your neighbors or your family for visits and then going back to your house because we just can't do that right now. We, it's just not smart. And if we don't start complying, this is, this is going to go on for a really long time. And that's just the facts. <laughs> it's just the facts, at least until they can develop a test where we can find out whether or not we've had this virus and once we have that then you know if you've had it then you're not going to be spreading it but until then we have to listen and uh, you know it sucks we all want to have like our lives back but look we're in a time where we have YouTube videos we have Netflix and Hulu and all sorts of TV and cable and computers and music and books and your family and the phone. You can call people and Zoom is amazing. Everybody's using Zoom. There's a Zoom call starting in a few minutes in my house. I have to go be a part of it. There's things to do. We are not separated from one another. It is not that bad. We all used to wish to have like, oh, I wish I had a day to stay at home. Yes, it's been 37 days and it's a lot in a row, but we're healthy, we're safe, and I'm not getting anybody else sick by going out. And that's the thing that's not fair to the doctors and the nurses and all the people, the bus drivers, and the people at the grocery stores and all these essential workers, the garbage collectors, the people doing jobs that have to do these jobs. It helps if we don't get in their way and keep spreading things. So let's just listen, stay home, stay safe, take care of one another, and this will end sooner rather than later. If I see the amount of people I saw today going out like this is no big deal, this is just going to go on and on and on. So I'm going to get off my soapbox. I'm going to go get on my Zoom call. Mark Lee over there. Mark Lee and I need to go inside and, uh, you know, go talk to our family. So... Go talk to your family. Thanks for watching this video. Stay safe. Take care of one another. And we'll get through this together. Okay? We're all here for one another. And it's really important that we take care of one another. Alright? So, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Give me that stick. Give me that.